Hey friends, welcome back. My name is Becky Truda and I am with Minimal Ease. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about eight simple things that you can do in your household that will have a big impact on our environment. And then one extra bonus thing that we've started using in our family, um, something that you might wanna save for that has a bigger impact on our environment. So if that sounds good to you and you really want to lower the amount of trash that you are sending out of your house, which on average is about 4.9 pounds a person a day, then please stick around and remember to hit that subscribe button. My first suggestion is to stop using single-use coffee filters. Now a single-use coffee filter can be used between three or four times, but by using a reusable coffee filter like the one below, you can use these between 90 and 120 times, maybe even more. I've been using the same one for several months now and I don't see any wear and tear. It does an awesome job of filtering out the grinds and it's easy to then get your coffee grinds and stick them in your plants. My next suggestion is stop using plastic bags. This is one of the most disgusting things that we still use in our environment that is destroying our ecosystem. By using a very easy collapsible bag that you throw in your purse every day, I easily can get rid of ever having to use plastic bags. I also stopped using single use Ziploc bags because they have so many great options now that you don't even need them. So this one, you can just collapse back, you throw it in your purse, and you're on the go. Getting rid of your plastic soap dispenser is another easy way. I think people see them and think they're so cute and pretty and they come in so many different colors, but really just scrubbing with some basic locally made or wrapped in paper soap is a great way of getting rid of some of that extra plastic that we're putting into our dumps and landfills and just smells great still. The next easy fix is stop using plastic toothbrushes. So I have switched to bamboo toothbrushes, which you can actually find almost anywhere now. And these are biodegradable, which means they're not gonna be sitting in our landfills forever, rotting away and getting into our drinking water. Another simple change is to stop using single-use paper products. So instead of using those tissues or those paper towels, you can use a dish rag in the kitchen, which is easy to wash. And instead of tissues, you can just use a handkerchief. Let's go back to old school. The next thing I stopped using are single-use laundry detergent bottles, especially those big plastic ones. They're terrible for our environment. So instead, I got myself an Eco Egg. This has worked really well getting my clothes clean. It is reusable over like 120 or something times, and it does not put out the toxic chemicals into our drinking water. The next thing is to stop using those plastic single-use hair products. So instead, I got this bar of shampoo. You do need to try and find the one that's right for your hair. This one is great for my husband because he has thinner hair. I need one that's a little um, easier to use on my thicker hair. Another easy fix is to stop using plastic sponges. Plastic sponges are full of bacteria. They do not biodegrade. So instead, I got this wooden handle, beautiful scrubber that I can easily wash in my dishwasher or by hand over and over again to get the bacteria off of it. So something that we ended up having to save for for a while is to get an electric car. Now this is something that I know is a privilege and a lot of people might not be able to afford this, but if you are able to save up to get yourself an electric car, this is a great way to save one, money and a lot of uh, non-renewable fossil fuels that are going into our air. Thank you so much for watching. So those were my eight budget-friendly and eco-friendly things that you can change up in your house. And then one big thing that we have changed recently in the last year that has actually saved us 
a lot of money, like over a thousand dollars from not having to use gas because electric is so cheap. And we'd also love to add in solar panels, but maybe that's to come. Thank you so much for watching and please enjoy my next video.